Awesome. Like, shout out to the shout out to the joints. I was like, why you didn't why you didn't invite me? Why you didn't bring me? Like, for one, like, can we stand up? Like, not bringing you. Like, not bringing you. Why would I pay double we, to go international when it's already teens there? Already teens. We established like. If we're not going past like the Caribbean, like Mexico with you joints, like like all, especially not on me, go, yeah, on my dollar. What? Yeah, on my dollars, you're not getting past the. You're Caribbean. not getting past the Caribbean. So with that being said, I need y'all to know that if you can get down there, come on, we can me. accommodate you. Yeah, you know I mean, but you gotta get there. You gotta get there. Yeah, you know I mean, it gotta be, you gotta show me something. Yeah, or, like or show you me that me... you one of them type. Like you mean, like you move around, like cause, yeah. Because then it's like, what's the purpose of this? Like, why am I just dragging you along around the world? Like, for, for what? what? Yeah, why am I doing that? I, when there's elite quality things that's already there that's willing to worship the ground niggas is walking on. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We back. We back in the building, another joint. Make sure the mic is good. We good. We live. We yeah, started. We lit. Another joint. We in the building once again. We're all set. Episode one sixty eight. Your Hello. boy Rich is in the building. Free I, is here. Free Talk is to me. with me. We back from Brazil. Yeah, Favorite I mean, uncle, yeah, we back. It was lit. <laughs> it was Yo. amazing. It was it was everything it, and it needed to be. We're back and it was lit. That's the official word. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like niggas. It was a lot of like be careful and woo but I didn't experience any be careful. Like I was like not. I'm not the toughest guy on on the planet. Don't I'm not. I'm not like I mean saying none of that. But like it was calm. Like yo, listen. I tell niggas Atlanta is more dangerous than a lot of these places. Like niggas out here, every niggas got guns. You know what I mean. Niggas don't got access to guns like they do in these other countries. Like, Let's start there. I mean, like, you know I mean, every I we live in Atlanta. Every corner store is polluted with a nigga with a stendo and maybe yeah, a switchy or two. A switchy or two. So, bro. like, you one brush shoulder away go, from getting a full on shoot up. Yeah, full blown with niggas with hollow tips and all that. Yes, niggas, bro. Yeah, so, yes. So for me to go third world country, so so they say, and mm. Mac with the low like. These niggas don't got, don't even get, like you said, they don't got gun money. What are they, they gonna pull out a, a, a machete? Exactly. I'm all right with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right not, with I'm machete. not nervous about a machete. Because if like, you miss one time with a machete, I'm on you. I'm, I'm on over. your back. I'm like, on I'm your not back, nervous bro. about a nigga with a machete. Nah, like, bro, that's not enough. Yeah, that's like, not they enough. little malnutrition, they kind of skinny. I'm not really worried about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be Absolutely real. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so we we did the NFL of Brazil, first game, Packers, Eagles. Yeah, Eagles won. Yeah, it was. Very live experience. They didn't yeah, say like, like like L said on NFL tapping that we did on Monday. If you wasn't if you're not if you're not familiar, um, every Monday, like, yo, every week uh, live twelve p.m. Tap the fucking NFL facts. tapping. Like L, like yo, they did not like you said on there. They did not sit down the whole game. The whole game, dead ball, they did not sit anything. Down, Nobody sat down the whole nah. game. Unless, when I sat down between plays, they were looking at me like I was bugging. <laughs> And let's talk about how, like, once you got in the stadium, like, and they checked your ticket, it was pretty much a free-for-all. It's a free-for-all. There's Wherever no rules in Brazil. Sit. It's no rules There's no rules in, in Brazil. Brazil. That's that's one. Like, it's, once you get in, in Brazil, no matter where you go, once you get inside the door, you can do whatever you want. That's, like, cemented. Woman elite, sturdy. Let's just stay there. Tings but, was tinging. Like, a lot for, of things. For sure. Like, a lot, of, lot of natural hair, a lot of curly froze. I'm into that. Yo, I'm it was a lot, lot of, of all natural. Tans. A yeah. lot of all natural. It wasn't no BBLs out there. No BBLs. It wasn't, it wasn't no, no weeds. I seen a, it was some boob jobs, though. It was a little boob jobby. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, no, don't be fooled. See, I see this is where we get fooled at. Because okay. I, I was sent footage from inside a hair store in Sao Paulo. So like it's going on. They just got the they just got the over where you not thinking that they got that shit in they shit. Okay. They got it though. Okay, okay. It's extensions going on. It's Don't extensions be dumb. Going on. Don't be fool. Don't be fool. Okay, Don't be okay, fool. Okay, okay, okay. It's well, extensions it going good. on. It, it looked great. Natural. It they looked pulled great. it off. Yeah, you know I mean, like they definitely pulled it off. They pulled they it had, off. They had me fool. I mean, and shout out to the ones that are all natural. That's that's staying true. And if you and if you bought a little extension, hey, you ain't knocking it either. Do what you do, whatever makes you smile. Yeah, it was a little chilly at night. 
Yeah, it was a little brisk at night. They weather they weather it changing over. They went to just ending. They like they just getting into their summer. They just starting their summer. It was a definitely you know a saying? little chilly at night. Um, like shout out to the shout out to the joints. I was like, why you didn't why you didn't invite me? Why you didn't bring me? Like for one, like can we stand up? Like not bringing you. Like not bringing you. Why would I pay double we, to go international when it's already teens there? Already teens. We established like. If we're not going past like the Caribbean, like Mexico with you joints, like like especially not Jamaica, on me, yeah, on my dollar. What? Yeah, on my dollars, you're not getting past the. You're Caribbean. not getting past the Caribbean. So with that being said, I need y'all to know that if you can get down there, come on, we can me. accommodate you. Yeah, you know I mean, but you gotta get there. You gotta get there. You know what I mean, they gotta be, you gotta show me something. Yeah, or, like or show me that me... you one of them tight. Like you mean, like you move around, like cause, yeah. Because then it's like, what's the purpose of this? Like, why am I just dragging you along around the world? Like for, for what? what? Yeah, why am I doing that? I, when there's elite quality things that's already there that's willing to worship the ground niggas is walking on. Let's I didn't want to take it there, but I didn't want to take it there. I mean, I was. <laughs> Worship is crazy, but it's a lot more appreciative over there. They are a lot more appreciative of smaller things, and I mean the the the, the bread stretches like what they think is a lot for them. For a lot, what's a lot for them is a, it's not that much for us. Yeah. I ain't gonna say it's a little for us, but it's not that much. You know what I'm you saying? You send a fifty dollars over to a joint, and then this goes a long way. That's you heavy, you heavy, you big, and. and they, I don't like. I've been to countries where they don't really jack American pop culture like that. But in in Brazil, they was they, they jack America. It. Like they fuck they with fuck they with fucking with Americans. Americans. Yeah, like, they like. There's a lot of black people out there. They fucking with niggas out there heavy. Yeah, so they, we gotta shout to Brazil. They fuck with the aura. Like they fuck with the aura of Americans. Like period. Like just like the the neighborhood niggas was in. Like off rip, they knew we wasn't Brazilian because of like of the socioeconomic. I mean, separation, but. Yeah. They respected it like, yo, nah, they gotta be American. So they was jacking niggas they off the rip. They jacking niggas, B. Like, I'm fucking with Brazil for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, to be totally honest, Brazil is definitely gonna see more of me. Nah, absolutely. Brazil is gonna see more of me. Like, they have you know to. I mean, to. like, that was my first time going. They're gonna I see more like of Brazil me. I feel like Brazil is like once a year for me at minimum. I think I'm gonna give them that. How, how, was that your first time there? That was my first That's time. That's your first time there? Yeah. Yeah, 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 like, I, I, I gotta go back minimum once a year. I niggas talking to y'all, I'm like, for what? Nah. I'm go with extra Brazil. four, I'm gonna go, I, 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 I'll, I take I'll the pain take the, for an extra four or five hours. Four like, four I'm, hours I'm going to Brazil. Yeah, I'm like, going to Brazil. Sorry. I'm cool with Portuguese. I, I, I could try to learn the Portuguese. I'm going to try to figure it's it out. It's close enough to Spanish. It's killing DR. Trans, it's killing DR. Elite beaches, like, beaches 30. All kind of shit to do. Clubs. All I, kind of six a.m. clubbing like nonstop. I jumped off a cliff, shit like that. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you know free gonna give you X Games. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely clubs. Yeah, you know I mean, a lot of clubs, niggas kissing in the mouth. You're not gonna get into that, but it's a lot of that going on. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's live out there, b. Nah, it's lit. It's lit. And yeah. you can smoke your weed. Bring your butt. You could you do, smoke. It's free reign with the drugs. They don't really got that much rules. Nah. They don't. If they don't have rules out the there beach, for real. The beaches to me was like Miami on steroids. Seriously, like for real. And then on top of that, like I said, you getting good skin tone because you know it's a lot of sun action out there. Yeah. So the fruits got seeds in them. Oh my gosh, the fruits have seeds. The good fruits coconuts. got seeds in them. Like it was just outstanding. It was valid. You know what it mean? was super like, valid. Quality food. Quality crushed. food. And it's not beef. Pause of the head. beef. Pause, but yeah. it was crazy. T bone, you, know you get a nice T bone steak, twenty dollars. Some called short paper. Short B. paper. Short niggas paper. was drinking. Niggas going bottle service wine and all. Niggas going crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas out there like real bullshit. Like you know what I'm saying, just blowing break, blowing bread, bro. Yo, Uber it's just and get around the city for like three dollars. Niggas Uber taking Uber low. blacks for no reason. For no reason. Just, just cause black, it's like an yeah. extra fifty cents. Extra fifty cent, b. Uber the black, Ubers yeah. was wildin' too. You go Uber black, he not he not following no rules. Oh yeah, he blowing through all the red lights. The red he getting you where you need to go. It was no discussion. He's getting you right where you need to go. Getting you right. Blowing listen, through them shits like fuck the red light. I got, got Brazil you, on my top bracket, like top cities list. Like it's nothing to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that, bro. I ain't going front. Like just put together. It's like, like you said, like the 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 strip on the strip in Rio, like Yammy's on steroids. Mm -hmm. Sao Paulo, like then in Manhattan on steroids. Yeah, Manhattan and Brooklyn combined. Combined, cause it got nice areas and it got your scroungy areas. But the scroungy cool. shit was lit too. There you go. There you go. I'm looking for a companion pass. Anybody work for Delta, American Airlines, United, any of them shits? 
holla at me. Like, I'm willing to pay. <laughs> if I get one of those, I'll be in Brazil once a month. Like, for real, for real. Shitting me. Like, yeah, niggas, bro. It was like that. Me get, yeah, it's like that. It is like that. It was like that. Shout out to Brazil, it. man. It was everything. It was supposed to be. You have a game. good time. You don't even, like, you work it out with Google Translate. You ain't got to know too much. Yeah, you don't got to do too much. If they feeling your aura, your vibe, like, that's it, bro. Because it's like, it's like good people. They, the people out there is mad nice, too. Like, they, like, they not on no funny shit. Like, they, like, showing love. Like, they fucking with niggas all the way. They appreciate your niggas. They fucking with niggas. They grateful to be around you if they fuck with you. It's just, it's, it's, it's an A plus for me. One of my one of my be- favorite trips I've ever been on one of my favorite cities for sure. Yo, you know it was so crazy, bro, because I didn't want to jump out the window. I was talking to somebody. I'm like, yo, that might have been my favorite trip. Like yeah. that might have been the best trip I ever took. I, I, I said I told niggas that niggas was like, yeah, you want to go there? I'm like, yo, it's just like it's just the vibe, like the appreciative. It was just every, you know what it is, because they have everything you could ask for. Like you said, like it's put together and, and, and it's put together. You know what I mean? Like so. I'm 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 supporting Brazil. I'm all for Red. He got a bachelor party. He said he's locking in Rio, and I will be there for that. Sorry, I'm I'm outside. I'm going. I'm definitely going. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, you know I mean, so shout out to Brazil, man. Shout out to to everybody that treated us right. Shout out to Diego. Shout out to exclusive. It's one of one. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Oh yeah, the homies. They show niggas mad love. Mad they love, took niggas man. in like family. Like, you know what I mean? Like Gucci to the crib. Like my yo, Shot short, my shorty cookie you want some type shit. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like Nah, they did right. They did right. So you know, shout out to my niggas out in Brazil doing the world. A stuff. money exclusive this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Them niggas were showing mad love. I ain't gonna front. This is just sturdy. We was we, we we they had us out there because because we you know what's so crazy we ain't even really know we ain't had no game plan other than what we came like the the main shit the game like it. I was going to the game going to the concert type shit then it was like open season oh, everything in between was open season and that and shit was just falling into place super crazy, super crazy. like yo this is elite like nah that shit was sturdy bro like I tell niggas Brazil's in my top trips I just want to say uh. I went to see the weekend icon, iconic. Lit. Niggas not fucking with Sun B. Out there, no backtrack. You know what I mean? He's out there singing them he shit. Singing. Okay. singing them shits, no backtrack. You know what I mean? Weekend is an icon, bro. I'm out there in the bleeds. I was in the bleeds way up in the stands, B. That shit was Ooh, crazy. Enjoying yourself. It was hard to find a seat. Yo, it was no assigned seats. I had to go up there and like figure it out. Yeah, figure like, it out. These niggas don't know English. Them niggas and them niggas <laughs> the weekend fans was probably there early. Like they was probably there. Yo, I got there. Before. I got there probably like twenty minutes. I got inside the stadium probably like twenty minutes before like he came on stage. It was like, what took you so long? Yeah, shit was flooded. Flooded. Flooded, no B. Way to sit. None of that. Yo, son, when I'm I'm looking around, it's just a sea of people. I'm like, yo, how? I'm like, I had to like go ill bird's eye, eagle eye, just to even pinpoint a seat. Like, yo, is somebody sitting over there? Like type shit. I believe it. And like they ain't even know what the fuck I was saying. They just know I'm pointing at some shit. They know I was American, so they kind of like, oh, he talking English. Like he, I think he want to sit over there. Like, yeah. Type shit. Like it worked out though. That shit was dope. Nah, shout to that. Shout to um, shout to the weekend doing his once. It was a couple. You know, it's crazy because right after we left, Travis Scott had a show and then um, yeah. Twenty One had a show. Yeah, Travis Scott came out of weekend shit. So Rio was it, it was Sao Paulo was popping over there. Yeah, I think I mean? it was the Independence Day weekend or something like that at the same something. time. It was crazy. But we will be back, and I do recommend it. If you travel, get Rio, put that on your list. Yeah, we it's, doing an episode from Rio. We doing we, we set up shop in Brazil. Fuck it. Yeah, we got you, bro. <laughs> we got the you, love was bro. like the that. Love B. was really like that. We bro. setting up shop in Brazil. Man. I keep telling y'all niggas on the social media side too, like. When you post shit or on your stories, I always go geotag. Y'all niggas don't be going geotag. That geotag, it gets a lot of, like, the locals see that shit. They be like, oh, my God. Like, Who yo. fucking son? Like, what's going on? Oh, I'm happy you're in my city. Like, I get, you get a lot of that. So I yo, just give I was that getting a bit. lot of d- random DMs. Uh, like, yo, somebody DM me like, y'all want to show you. Yo, me and my people want to show you this and that. Then I'm, I'm chilling. I ain't going to do all that. But, <laughs> but lie, when you when you go to them cities and you tag, like, the people from the cities be, like, searching through them tags. Like, yeah. they don't have shit else to do. And they be tapping in. So that's just, you know, it's a little travel tip for y'all niggas. You know what I mean? So you want to get tapped in with the locals. Post tag. Geotag your location on your story so you can get acclimated for sure. Back for sure. Though. Um back let's get though. back to let's get back to the real shit. You know we gotta talk about it. We back on land and we gotta talk about the culture. Yeah, man, puff the guy grabbed thousand bottles of lube. Thousand bottles of baby oil. Bail denied twice. You will sit here until the trials slow down. 
He tried to pull up and put a fifty million dollar house up. They said, "Nah, we're all set." Where are you? Cause you, we know you. You're gonna you know try I mean? to get low. When we came and raided the cribs the other day, you pulled some funny shit with the private jets and yeah, she was, was a, she was weird. Yeah, we're yeah, not doing man, that no more. Like in the air, we we're know, not doing that. Him. We're not playing with that. Yeah, we man. took. They took yo. How yo? He's so freaky. They took all his kids' passports. Listen. Christian got uh just got hit with a lawsuit too. The son, the one that looked just like him, he got hit with a lawsuit. That ain't new. The one from uh, the, when he tried to, try to pin, when he pinned Shorty in the corner in the yacht. Oh, that's the same one. I mean, they, I I just seen it was like another lawsuit was in the indictment. Nonetheless, it's nasty for Puff. Um, you think he's gonna take some type of plea deal? Is he bringing niggas down with him? Is is this the last of Puff? Look, man. Um... He has a lot of money, so let's start there. You know what I mean? Dude, they're not trying to hear it. Like, at first, I was thinking, like, nah, no way Puff goes to jail. Like, really goes to jail. But, like, the charges is insane. But what I will say, they they a little fragile because there's no child nothing on there. You feel me? It's all it's all it's adults. All, a lot of it's adults, all adults. A lot of hearsay. So, a lot of consent. Yeah, it? So, so now can you prove that I was forcing these treasures to treash? Hello. I was paying everybody bread. Like, everybody yeah. got paid. Like, can you prove that I was forcing strong arming people to, to freak off? That, as you say, you exactly. mean? You gotta exactly. You got to prove that. That's kind of hard to prove in court. Some people saying, like, well, the sex trafficking was just based off, like, he was paying joints to fly in the fuck. Like, yeah, if I, if I, fly, if I fly a whore from Cali, now I'm sex trafficking? Yeah. Now, okay. now basically, now basically saying regular day to day niggas with bread doing wild shit is, is all yes. everything's a crime. Now you yeah, I me. saw Boosie say that Boosie said that he was like niggas. So basically, when you flying a bitch in and you give her some bread to fuck, now now that's, that's a crime. That's a crime. That's what? what Come on, now let's be fucking for real. That's if that's saying. a crime, like eighty percent of these bitches is is is, 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 is mega is, is is felon is felons. Yeah, you hordes is felons. Yeah, bitches is felons and everybody's sex trafficking. If that's yeah, the case, if that's like, the case. Like, come on, let's. What we talking shit. about? It's nasty for the diddler. Um, yeah, a thousand bottles of lube is disgusting. If they can somehow prove that he was using the tapes of the freaky shit to blackmail niggas into doing shit, then like, I right, that's a charge. But do niggas really go to prison for that, yeah, or is that like probation, like fine, like too damn freaky? You know what I mean, stay away from the public. See how far uh, Puff's reaches and how powerful he really is. Yeah, coming up soon. Do you believe Puff is a Puff is a uh, asset? For three letter organization? Yeah. Has to be. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Has to be. Hey, like, he's been, like, he's had his hands and in, tied into a lot of shit. Like, he's, he's an asset stuff. Let's not get crazy. He has to be. You he know knows what I'm a lot. Huh? He knows a lot. He knows he got, a lot. I'm sure he, got he knows a lot that the bodies is buried. He yeah. knows that the bodies is buried. He's letting out certain calls. His his attorney's making certain calls right now. Like, yo, fam, if you don't let Puff out, shit is about to get hairy for you, y'all, and them. Yeah, I mean, yes, cause y'all was all there. Y'all was there. Y'all was a part of the fuckery. So don't do that. Yeah, you know I mean, you like, know what I mean, and I, like, I, like, I, I don't I know, say man. It. I don't, I don't know, like, cause I wanna, I wanna have a so, I wanna have like a, 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 a I'm sorry for the bitches. Like, I, I'm like yeah, a, I'm, I like a, a my bad. Like I saw, nah, like, we saw it for Cassie. But, we saw her get beat up. And we saw her. We saw her get beat up. We saw her Cassie going through stomped. some shit. You yeah. feel me? So, so we, I can't just say like, oh, them hoes were so with it, twenty four seven. I don't feel sorry for the niggas, man. The grown niggas that was down with that shit. Y'all niggas was down with it, bro. That's how. I, that's how I'm at. You, you niggas that bartered your future and your and your and your and your and your and your, and your assholes. In order to try to get a career with Puff, that's on you. That's on you. That's bro. on you. You know what I'm I saying? Sorry like, for niggas, oh, bro. he didn't. He he promised me this and that, and I didn't get it, and I let him drill my butt. That's your problem, homie. That's your problem. Cause you're, you, you know what I mean, that's that, you, you lacked your morals, and that, and you, you got baby all up. You know what I mean, that's on you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, do you see any other big names coming down? Getting mentioned in this? Of family? course. I mean, if Puff roll, if Puff roll over, shit is gonna get hairy. Shit get hairy. Kevin Lyles already stepped down. He stepped down. There's a lot of other executives and like unknown executive white motherfuckers that stepped down. Little congressmen and little yeah. shit that's, that 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 ducked off that we don't really know about that you you would think it's not related, but it's all related because all these mother, all these people kick it with each other. Yeah. You feel me? These people be in the same party. These people be in these mixes. You feel me? So. Yeah, it's gonna be major, major fallout. The longest Puff stays, that's why Puff go like 
they got it. Like somebody's gonna give a call to the judge and say, "Yo, let him out, give him yeah. a bail," because yeah. the longer he stays in there, the nastier it gets. He's gonna chat. He's gonna yeah. chat some things. Puff knows everything. He's gonna be like, you know what? Tell them things from my life. Cause I got some. I know shit. some shit. Yeah, I know some. Since but it's a lot on the indictment that got left out. It was it was no underage girls, and it was nobody above them. It was just Puff as ringleader guard of this freaky shit. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> like, yeah, he's horny, he's a deviant, but I don't believe him. To, like, he was placed in this position for a reason. He, this is a position he was placed in to be the ringleader of freaky. Yes. And there's a there's a ringleader. There's somebody over him that's con- that's telling him who to invite to the freaky. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. come on now. Puff was with it. Puff was just a freak ball. You know what I mean? It's just, and he was going overboard, it seemed like. Yo, to, 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 to get so freaky that niggas need IVs is crazy. What's up with the thousand bot baby or spottles? Yo, I was trying to tell my homegirl, Jordan, what's up? Butt sex. Like, you know I mean, like, what else is the lube for? Yeah, because the box get wet on its own. It's butt sex, B. These niggas having uncontrolled butt sex. These niggas as well. It's that freaky. They go in there. They, it's, the bitch is taking the butt. The niggas taking the butt. It's nonstop butt sex going on. What else would you need that much lube for? What else could you possibly need that much lube for? Yeah, that's true. They go on butt sex, B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nonstop. These niggas getting butt. These niggas getting rammed in the ass the whole night. Shit is scary. Shit is scary. Shit crazy. Shit is out of order. Out of order. Despicable and disgusting. These niggas doing multi-day in the suite, butt sex, mad drugs, mad lube. Like, it's sick, B. I ain't gonna hold you. Just non-stop. <laughs> non-stop. Yo, imagine how... Yo, imagine how crazy you gotta get with the freaky shit to need an IV. Yeah. Like everybody need IVs, be yeah. like we done off, like yeah, you going crazy, you going you wilder. It's it's something else for you. you know what I mean, it's not just it's past sex. It's some whole other shit. You know what I mean? And I don't want no part. I seen a joint with him and his mom's getting the IV together. His mom had the white nails. That was sick. I don't even know what type of time they got going on. Oh man, <laughs> you feel oh, me? I like his mom is in the building at the joints. Like you feel me? Like He's probably running the whole shit. I mean, he had a lot of business. He had a lot of business in his mom's. Yeah, his mom's, mom's name. is part of his situation. Like his mom's is there in the building at the joints. It's nasty work, bro. It's nasty work. Um, yeah, Puff's looking at it. We'll see. The time will tell. I'm sure this is gonna be like an ongoing thing. You know what I mean, it's just started. We thought it was. We thought it was. A, I mean, we already we had been ongoing, and we thought it was a thing. But now it's an escalated. It's, a real thing. it's escalated. It's like, a real thing. It's like the 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 feds have taken it criminal. Like yeah, nah, fam needs to like we need to him away from the public. Like yeah, that's a real thing, bro. Like nah. But what we do know is the freaking has not stopped. Nah, they still doing it. Hello, niggas is still horny. You thought niggas just stopped being horny? Nah. You think the freak off stopped? They still <laughs> doing them. Puff was like, yo, I, I, just give me bail. I won't contact No Vagina. I'll leave the joints alone. <laughs> yo, give me bond. I won't contact No Vagina is insane. Because he's still going to contact some boy vagina. <laughs> yeah, like, you're going to go boy butt. You're going to go lube it up. It'd be cool. And you know you, whoever you call is going to call the bitches. They can work it out. It's ways around everything. Young Miami, <sighs> what's up with her? I don't know. I just seen her. <laughs> I just seen her in the crowd at uh one of JT shows. Like you know what I mean? She's still trying to do. I think Carisha Please is still a thing. She just dropped the episode with Rick Ross. Okay, so that's still a thing. Yeah, I don't know how to keep it going. She's getting named in freaky indictments. I, I just don't seen know. Mimi Force was like her and Stevie J was supposed to have a dating show come out, but it got clipped because of the Diddy shit. Because he's so close to Puff. Mimi was there. Mimi was a part of it. Mimi was there. Mimi was a part of it. Come on. Look. You freak. Yo. It's a lot. Yo, it's a lot of people that was there, B. It's a lot of freaky bitches that was there. It's a lot of joints that was there. Y'all was, you know what I mean? Hove was and, there. Hove might have been there. Hove was there, a couple of them. Y'all was doing a lot of sneaky trips to Turks with Diddy and Meek. Y'all was there, like... We seen y'all there. Hello. Yeah, you know I mean, like, let's see, let's see who comes out on the paperwork. But we know y'all was there, freaky and all y'all glory. All of the glory, <laughs> damn. This is gonna get hairy, man. 
Hate but to we see know, it. we know, we. I mean, niggas know regular trees just from the streets that like y'all was there, like they was there. You're you not know? that friendly. You know what I mean? Um, I just, I hate to see it. I also hate to see niggas just just laughing at bro Don for cause. Nah, see what well, we not gonna laugh though. Yeah, I don't we're like not that. laughing we're not though, laughing. cause everybody do horny shit. You would hate if your horny shit came to light. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, exactly. That time that you paid that tree. Take that time you hit that deuce, mm -hmm. you would be sick. You know what I mean? Yeah, you <laughs> you exactly. don't want that out there. <laughs> so let's let's not throw rocks so in the last not, house. Let's yeah, just, man. you know, pray for all parties involved. I but I will say that I don't I will go on the record. My final yeah, I mean me, I do not feel like Puff should be criminally locked up for his freaky shit. I feel as though he deserves to pay some civil suits to some people that he fucked up on some paper shit. But y'all was y'all was so thirsty for the chance to win and to be one of them people that y'all agreed to all this shit. And then mm -hmm. after the fact and when you got your assholes rammed out and you didn't get what you had promised, now you want to play victim? Nah. I don't respect it. I'm not calling a puff a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm gonna call him a I'm gonna call him a freaky, freaky CIA three letter asset freaked out nigga that was doing creepy shit. Civil case him up to death, get him for his bread, but should he be in prison? Nah, nah. Now if you prove he killed someone, you know what I mean, Kim and them and whatever else, then that's different. Yeah, that's different. If you can prove the bodies, yeah. That's different. But if you just tell him he's freaky, then uh he, he, paid, paid, he, paid, he paid he paid a whole bunch of prostitutes to be prostitutes. Yeah. Um, okay. And he already gave he cashed cash he got cashed out. So And she's supposed to shut the fuck up. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I, I understand exactly where you're coming from. If he if, like you said it was no kids and these are all consenting adults just freaking off, like that's not enough, B. Sorry. Not not to go to prison. Like then they got the racketeering charges, the Rico charges and all this. He had AR fifteen scratched off serial numbers. Then you're gonna have to show me how did these freaky parties somehow make him money, and then how did the like how did that go into the business like like you know what I'm saying like is this a, is this a is this a freaky nigga having freaky off time or is this a, somehow a business yeah. like was he was he was he now you telling me he was pimping the pimping the yeah, bitches was he like putting could, these bitches in sex was he slavery? selling them yeah, like yeah, like I need to know you're that you're not really giving me you know what I'm saying like it's not you know what I mean like it don't add up. So it just seemed like a freaky nigga orchestrating a lot of freaky shit. That's not a crime. I mean, yeah. it could be a crime, but it's not. I don't. That's not enough for a nigga to really be in prison. Speaking of shit not adding up and shit that niggas had questions about, uh, Ruby Rose came out and said Drewski had a PR. It was a PR stunt. It was a fake relationship. He paid for it, and he never got the hit. So, <laughs> what say you? You know it's crazy. I was trying to give Drewski the benefit of the doubt. Like, you know what? Maybe he really bagged Ruby. He's lit. You know what? Like from the start, I was disgusted by the whole city. You feel me? Like, and I never wanted Drewski to even have that on his jacket because she's a whore. You yeah. feel me? But then when he pedestaled her, I'm like, this doesn't seem right. She's a whore. Like, you yeah, mean? He not dumb. Like he has to know that you she's feel a whore. Me? Like he has to know so that after niggas he's done shit. He's with. kissing her on the mouth on the internet and all type of antics. And then she pops out and does this. So that leads me to believe that. Maybe the whole shit was a shit. If Maybe because like if, if it was a paid PR stunt, she's isn't that part of the PR for her to not say nothing? So like yeah, the NDA is definitely included, right? Right. So, so that's what I said. Maybe that was just a part maybe of. Maybe we're like, still in the skit. Yeah, we we're, might, yeah, we're we might be still in the skit. skit. Like you yeah. Like, like, we're going to, like, fake it. Like, some niggas going to question it. Then you're going to come out and say it again to be back in the news cycle. And then I'm going to respond and yeah. be back in the news cycle. So, my thing Here's is. $5,000 for your time. So, what Ruby Rose is outburst, if we're, if it's not already, if it's not preconceived and constructed, right? Her outburst says to me that she got tired of the niggas she actually liked being like, didn't, what, bitch, ain't you fucking with Drewski? Yeah. Then she just, like, had an outmercial outburst. Because yeah. that's what hoes do. Yeah, yeah, they do you know that. I mean? Like, like, you know what I mean? To, to, so you so know. they try to slander the slander the lame extra. Oh, he paid me for a PR stunt. I never fucked him. Blah, blah, blah. What, you know what? 
Like, that's just some joints do. I'm pretty sure Drewski got his meat wet. Let's be fucking for real here. Yeah, come on. Stop yeah, it. I mean, you mean tell Ruby me he Rose, didn't pay the extra 10, 15? Yeah, to like wet? to get his meat wet? Stop it. Drewski definitely clipped. And she played herself for putting it out there to the world that she sells her box. Yeah, pretty much. You didn't win, but I know that I know that Trish crash out. That's she got sick of niggas that she actually like. Be like, Ew, don't you fuck with Drewski, bitch? Like, yeah, fuck cause it's yeah. certain niggas, right? You see a bitch fucking with them, like you like, Ugh, like you just doing anything. You was on the internet kissing this nigga in the mouth. I'm not. I can't, I can't do that. I'm I can't. Not into, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do. So it. she got tired of eating that. Yeah. I'm sure about. This might be her third or fourth valid nigga that she actually like, like, don't you, like, I, seen, I just seen you kissing Drewski, bitch. And now she fled up and just crashed out. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. Fuck out of here. This was a fake. Was she crashed out. out yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. No, nah, I agree. But I, I think that's what exactly what it was. Either way, she fumbled the bag, I feel. Unless, it, like you said, it's part of a super longer, ongoing, you know what I mean, you feel me? Yes. But. Speaking of crashing out and fumbling the bag, Shaq's new crash. girlfriend crashed out. Crashed out. Like, she blew it. She posted, guess whose feet this is. Like, you're know. nobody, nothing. Like, you should have shut the fuck up. You have Shaq on deck. He's sleeping at your crib, clearly. Why do you feel like you need to go viral? Like, come on, Like, sis. and it's early. Like, you're still on the twin bed, right? Shaq is squeezing on the twin bed. It's it's, it's diabolical already, right? So, why don't you exactly. shut the I just fuck up? To say that. Like, Shaq could put you in the house. Shaq was on, like, the footage you got of Shaq was literally, that nigga was on the couch, like, really trunched up. So, that's like you said, that tells me you're still in the early stages. You ain't even get cashed out yet, really. You, you, you just started. You're you just happy started. to be here. You're a bozo. And you put it on the internet. Put it on the internet. On a little bed. Like, Shaq was curled up with you on a little ass bed. Like, Shaq is going through hell trying to get in there with you. For one... Shout out to Shaq, but you a freaky ass nigga, Shaq. You got a little perverted little thing with your shit, bro. You keep on fucking with these little extra small bitches on purpose, man. You freaky ass dude. I mean, he's I seven, see another, seven foot. But he purposely fucking with bitches that's super small on purpose. You a freaky dude, man. Freaky shit, man. I mean, it's like a small bitch. Goddamn. I mean, I got nigga. I like big bitches. What you gonna do? But when you seven one and you purposely only into little bitches, you a freaky Hoops dude. Hoops is not look. Y'all keep saying that. Hoops is like five six. Five five. How big? I mean, she's a regular size. She's a regular joint. side joint. That's a regular Come side on, joint. Just, but the joint he had, that joint like really five one. Y'all really want Shaq to date Britney Grinder, or Angel Reese? Nah, nah, up, nasty. Man. Nah, I know. Nah, nah, why not Angel Reese? Angel Reese. Nah, nah, Angel Reese fine, but like he, it's up to y'all. Shaq should be dead, dating like, joints over five five at least. So they gotta be Angel Wilson, Angel Wilson height. I said over five five, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let my nigga Shaq rock. If you want a small bitch, let him hit a small he, joint. It seemed like he purposely going for the smallest bitches he can find. Like, it's weird I with mean, Shaq. If he was getting midgets, I would say it's weird. He just getting, like, smaller frame joints. I can't, I'm not going to throw the, the weird jacket on him. I mean, he's just like a little petite joint. That's it. He's is weird to you because he's a fucking giant. I like petite joints. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I'm he's not giant. seven two. I mean, who knows? They still petite. They're, they're even more petite. That's, you know what it is? That's a little weird, though. It nah, gets a, a, I, it has a level of fatigue has to get weird. Because, like, he, he's such a giant. He probably, like, the little five five. He could really toss them bitches all around. That's yeah. why you fuck with a small bitch, because you can really, de- you know what I mean? But he's seven two though. So it's even a more toss. Nah, bro, got to be a line somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's I'm about to put the height requirement on Shaq. You out of order, yo. I'm just saying, like, yo, it just looks weird, bro. Like, she taking the flicks, and it's like, you you, you belly up. It's like, <laughs> she could then eat she could eat meat without crouching, bro. Like, that's kind of, the it's like a next level of diabolical, Yo, <laughs> yo like, <laughs> like, yo, she goes... Yo, yo, she going to stand up and get this nigga yo, nectarine? Yo, she can eat meat without crouching, bro. That's kind of diabolical, B. That's crazy. Like, Shaq got a problem, bro. I ain't going to hold you. Shaq might have a little problem, bro. I'm just saying. But she made it high and she's dumb. Nah, she, she's a dummy. She's a dummy. Shout out to her. I'm happy for the... I hope you happy with the couple followers you got. I hope you think that means something. You're goofy. You missed out on the real check. This is why, yo, I ain't gonna lie. These new joints in 2020, what's, what year is it, 24? They need guidance, bro. Guidance. They don't even know how to treat right. Yeah, she's just dumb. Social media fucked it up. Every every joint just wants to pop out so hard to show, like, hey, it's me. Yeah, she couldn't help I me. Mean, and you could have been great on a low. Shaq would have sturdied you 
on a low. Shaq would have had her life upgraded smoothly. All she had to do was be quiet. I really want to like go on her page like, oh, you blew it, sis. You should have just kept this to yourself. Like, it looked like, she, do you even have your own spot? Like, it's a, like a roommate shindig. It looked nasty. You got the dude. glass closet. Like, you're like a roommate. College, like, you're damn like a college dorm. <sighs> yo, keep, yo, less is more. Keep your mouth shut, bro. Glass closet just gives co college dorm, like. Yeah. Student housing, you heard? That's just crazy, That's like man. a twin bed, full size. I don't it looked know. nasty. It looked like it's definitely looking project. It looked like a uh, popcorn ceiling. It didn't look good. Look popcorn ceiling. It, look, it didn't look good at all. And like B. you said, Shaq could have put you in a house. Nice and easy. That was like you a car and crib you. Like, yeah, yeah, that was down. like a twin size, full size bed in the background. That was bad work. That was nasty work. Bad work. Bro. We grown. We can't do that. Um, Trump almost got boomed again. Yeah. They they trying to take him out. It's unfortunate. <laughs> They try to take my boy out. They, 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 Trump they, almost got boomed again. They try to take him out. And Trump and Kamala debated. We didn't even touch that. We've been going. Yeah, we've been going. Um, yeah. I, the, honestly, I don't know if the second the second boomery attempt. I'm kind of like on the fence. Like, do they really? <laughs> like, come on. Is he orchestrating boomery? <laughs> I got to draw the line somewhere. Be it. And like, yeah, the first one I'm, I gave him, like, yo, they, niggas wild out. You know what I mean? I heard the shots. I seen the nigga. It's possible orchestration of the booming. But the second one is like, all right, bro. Like, what's what's going on, B? Is that is that what we're drawing to? Like, all right, we got to go another assassination attempt. We they hate me so much. They're yeah, they trying to finish yeah, me. they're trying to finish me. Is that, that's what he's, that's what he's about to ride, ride on. And that's the narrative he's riding to the polls. Like, yo, don't forget they try to take me out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they don't want to see, they, they want to take away your free speech and they want to open the border so they try to take me out he got to expose the mangled air more he got to give me more mangled yeah, air. yeah he do zoom he in do. on the mangled air he do is it mangled or not i don't know <laughs> can't call it nigga she's saying it's back you <laughs> okay speaking of sash they said tips almost the whole terrorist group almost got taken out too you saw that if you ever took hezbollah oh <laughs> nah they try to dub hezbollah like this yo yeah shout the hezbollah <laughs> Oh my God, I love Nah, I'm us, wild. Man, not shot gonna... the Hezbollah, but shot, Yo, the, shot Hezbollah. the Hezbollah. Shot the Hezbollah is crazy. Free Palestine, they're gonna, man. They're not even going to let us post the shit. They're not, they're not, you know what's so funny? Nah, you know the last like three episodes, we ain't being clear for no monetization. Like YouTube and not, YouTube has been like, Yo, y'all subject matter is out of control. Yo, nah, fuck you cannot shit. say shout out Hezbollah, bro. <laughs> what's wrong with this nigga? Is he crazy? Like, yo, what the fuck? YouTube is getting pissed. YouTube has not been paying us lately. That's not going to help. <laughs> That's not going to help. Shout out Hezbollah is not going to help. I, I can guarantee you that. Like, I'm sure when the, the reviewers yo. hear that shit, and they're like, oh, nah. The AI should pick up the audio. Like, yeah. oh, they said what during the episode? <laughs> Dub. Dub. Try again, 169, nigga. <laughs> fuck you thought. Yo, well, and fuck it, man. We on CEN, man. Culture Entertainment Network, man. We on CEN, um, man. Go yeah. check us on CN on unadulterated, un un man. But Simultaneous yeah. pager explosion. Crazy. Then walkie talkie explosion next. It seems like some shit out of a movie. I can't wait for the movie to drop. Do we feel like all of them bought their pager from the same guy and the guy was an asset? Or like or did or is there a way to hack into the joints? Like how, what do we think? Honestly, bro, I'm like third option. Like, I was like, is this shit real? But then I seen enough. Footage. I seen you seen footage. Niggas' hips was blowing off. The, so did I seen the footage? I'm like, this is real. So then I'm it's like, real. are all of these niggas getting their shit from one nigga, the pager guy? That don't that that, that don't make sense. Why like, would everybody buy their shit from one guy? But then it's like, like you said, if that's not it, is it a hack? Because then I gotta look at my phone funny in the light. Yo, listen, the NSA, the the three letters. They all the three letters. They they are way more capable of what they tell Listen, you. Listen, capable niggas of. just hacked Delta, United, and all that, and Delta couldn't get back right for like a week. That's for one. Listen, Remember that. They, I'm, I, my, my, um, what, what I want to say, my, my motherfucking thesis on this, my, my, my thought process on this. I feel as though they, they, they kidnapped the nigga. Fucking got a list of numbers, got a list of infos, got them all, rounded them up. Hacked them, joined some, and, and overheated the batteries, blew them up. They hacked them up. They did some. They 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 hacked them. They did some shit, and they they got once they got the list of contacts. They 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 hacked. They hit everybody and blew them up and whooped the wound them and see who they could kill, see what they could do. Are you scared? Scared of what? <laughs> the fact that the niggas could just hack your phone and blow your shit up. 
I mean, I'm not on no terrorist list. Okay. I'm Gucci. You feel me? Like, I'm an upstanding citizen. They keep treating I'm a me nice like a guy. Terrorist. Every time I come back in the country, they got to get me off this list. I got a nasty uh, imaginary warrant in Charleston, Illinois, and it pops up every time I come back in the country. What the hell is Charleston, the... Illinois? Exactly. I don't even know. So I have a gun charge out there. And every time I come back in the States, Whoa. it pops up. It's just disgusting. Whoa. I'm a jail. I can't hear that. <laughs> I don't know what free got going on. You say gun charge in Charleston, Illinois. Uh, is that a thing? Been there. Yeah, you never been there? No. What is that? It's like outside the shop. I, it has to be, right? I don't know. I've been on, I've been on Pat Dixon, my lawyer. I've been on his home. He's like, yo, you guys just, they, they getting it situated this week. I had to get in touch with the lawyer down there. And Shout to Pat. To get, get that out the system. Remember when Rice got hacked? It was whatever. The same charge I got charged with in Atlanta, it just somehow ended up in Charleston, too. So you were? Like, yeah. So that's Say word. Word too, bro. So that's every crazy. time I come back, they fingerprint me, take me to the back, act like they bought this, oh, um, extradite nah. me to Chicago, what? and then they pull, and then they, then they be like, oh, it's the warrants not extraditing. And I let Yo, go. you got big nuts, be me, nigga like me would not be going nowhere with that smoke going on. I don't even need that that stress. Like it's definitely stress. You got nuts, bro. I'd be like, yo, hey, shit, I'm I ain't gonna lie. After this last one, I was really like, I'm not going nowhere until shit get fixed, be honestly, because this is too much. It's because like, what if the call don't get answered and they really put you in the patty? Yeah, yeah. In Miami, they was thirsty. Like, you do not want to get transported across multiple states in cuffs, B. Oh, my God. You Remember do not. Remember I told you what happened when they stopped me in El Salvador? They literally cuffed me at the gate, walked me up the, uh, took me to some back elevator, walked me down the aisle, and then took the cuffs off. It was Yo, like, all right, we're going to let you go. You do not want that smoke. My nigga, you know how mad I, I was? so disgusted when they was like, yeah, we're about to drive you to Illinois. I'm like, huh? They, yeah, nigga. And the fucking nasty yeah, van. They'll That's drive like a 24 you. hour yes, trip, bro. They'll drive you, nigga. It's and not stop only the feds it. fly you. The, the 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 states is gonna drive you. Like like and the, the officers they send to pick you up is getting time and a half. Double time and a half. So they're gonna drag it. They're not gonna rush. Yeah, in no rush, bro. They're gonna make a million stops. Not in rush. You don't never want to get extradited between states. Worst thing that could ever happen to you. Extradited in, in, inside of one state between counties is awful by itself. You do never want to get extradited between states. From here to hell, you blessed, boy. If I was you, I wouldn't do no more moving until that shit was situated. Because one nigga don't answer the phone, you're cooked. <laughs> <laughs> like bacon? Yo, that you answering the call from the shot. Like, yo, I, niggas like, yo, where free been? He been the phone, his phone been on for a week. <laughs> Nasty. Your phone been off for a week. Nasty work. That's how I tell you. Oh man. All right. What what's next? We we uh oh do we oh we wanna we wanna you wanna get into the drip or we wanna uh get in or we wanna do this country we wanna talk I about was Kendrick gonna shit. save Kendrick we save Kendrick for after the All right. after the not me. Let's get into the drip. Talk uh, to me. Go to the drip. Drip report, I gotta get that niggas update, drip report. Uh everything fear of God is on sale in Adidas. Uh the trash. <laughs> The collab is cold. I say Frio. You sending them down the wrong path. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm not telling you to grab it. Now, before Drip Report was just giving y'all niggas advice and all, but now, like, because we gonna be, we're approaching the new season too, like, I'm gonna just keep y'all updated what's going on in the news and industry, new fashion shit. So for one, Fair God Adidas is on sale. The niggas is not renewing their business. Trash. Jerry Lorenzo's Jerry a hack. <laughs> Jay Lorenzo's a hack. He's not a real creative. Jay Lorenzo's a fucking hack. Oh, yeah. My bad, bro. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> what he said. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, it had a good run, but it's just like, how long was you just going to just drag us with the lazy shit? You know what I mean? Sucks. So, the fa- he, he's biting off Kanye's style forever, man. All right. Well, yeah. Fair guys on sale. You can get it now. And that's that's uh, that's a drip report. You know what I mean? All set store. You see what we got on. Hello. Good shit. You see what time we on, man. T-shirt on, hoodie on. It lay right. I'm 6'3". That shit fit me right. Good on, good sleeve. Get you a mug. Get you a mug. Get you a hoodie. It's cold out. Hello. Uh, we're yeah. coming back second half. We're going to talk about Kendrick. So you know we're going to talk about Kendrick Super Bowl. We're going to talk about NFL. We're going with the woo. At least come baggery. Uh-uh. We coming back. Holla. Holla. Boop, Stay tuned. All right. 
we back, we back. Second half, you already know, we kick off every second half with elite scumbaggery. If you don't know what that is, that's when somebody does some scumbag shit, but they pull it off in elite fashion, so we got to shout them out. This week's elite scumbag is, I'm going to pull up Shorty's name. I got her name perfectly right. Her name is, hold up. Cause I fucked it up. Hold up. Oh, there you go. I don't know. Right, wrong, John. Gabrielle Miranda. Talk to us about Gabrielle is a 25 year old joint that bagged the Brazilian soccer star, Hendrick. He's 18. He just signed a Real Madrid for 50. How much he just signed for? Hendrick just signed for. Andrick just signed for fucking some stupid shit. 50 billion is some goofy shit. Hold up. Nah, not billion. 50 million. Hold up. I got to get the right, I gotta get the right number. <laughs> I got to get the right number because I got to make sure the number is right that I'm, tell, I'm telling niggas. Hold up. He just signed a $55 million deal at 18 years old with Real Madrid. A nigga from Brazil named Andrick. He nice. Clearly. His wife, he just got married to a joint that's 25. Gabrielle Miranda. Shout to her. She's the least scumbag of the week. She groomed him. She bagged him since, she, since he was 17. She knew what time it was. She just secured the bag. Shout out to her. At least scumbag of the week. Shout out. For sure. Yo, I just want all my niggas, all my young niggas, if, if you want a younger generation watching this, getting married at 18 is like leaving the party at 930. Don't do that. <laughs> You feel me? Oh, like, please. don't get married at 18. I don't care how good crazy. she plays with your balls. I don't care how, like, listen, we all have had puppy love. We all have, like, been head over heels for a bitch in your younger yeah, years. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Woo -woo -woo. Don't get married at 18. You're leaving a party at 930. It's a lot more action. It's a lot more life to live. You're for sure going to end up divorced, young brother. Sorry it had to be you. Shout out to Gabrielli. She's securing the bag. Yeah, you know I mean, like I see it from both ways. The truth got a truth. Yeah, you know I mean, it is what it is. <sighs> Unfortunate. Sorry for you, but I had to keep it international because we on, you know, international. You know, international flowers. time, Cap International Cap flowers. Um, back to America. American news. The streets is upset. American media is upset. Kendra Lamar is doing a Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans instead of Lil Wayne or any other New Orleans y ass motherfuckers. <sighs> Listen, man, I've seen Wayne prime time when he came to Morehouse, I'm like 05, 06, prime Wayne. I seen Wayne like five years ago, six years ago at like A3C. And I seen Wayne live recently, and I seen footage of him at WrestleMania. And he's just not the same guy anymore. Let's start there. I want to just say that. Wait, can we say Morehouse homecoming Lil Wayne was probably the most fire, one of the most fired performances you've ever seen in your life? Top three, top four. He came to the campus and he bodied it. Bodied That's it. That's Carter too, Wayne. It's yeah. some of the illest shit you ever seen in your life. Like, he bodied it. He did all his heat. He did a real By show. himself. By himself. No hype men. No dancers. No nothing. Like, he did his thing. By himself. Bodied he it. walked out there and finished the crowd. Yes. Yes. Stand up. Nah, we're going to stand up for Lil one. Wayne is really one of the best performers in rap history. Yes, it was. Was 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 Let's just have you on the was um heavy on the was. <laughs> admittingly he forgets some of his rhymes now you know what I mean the lean and the drugs taking a toll on him the dreads they're not black the dreads ain't dreading they're not they're not the same dreads from home, homecoming you know what I mean they're a little different they're a little older a little weary um and right now Kendrick got it I mean fuck he got the song of the summer. Uh, the Super Bowl was in New Orleans in 2013. Y'all niggas ain't say nothing then. And Wayne, he had his time came and went. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, like I said, I've seen recent Wayne live performances. He didn't look good. I honestly think Hove and whoever else was a part of the selection committee was sparing him. And um, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. How do you feel about the Jay-Z slander? I don't like it. 
I don't like it because, you know, I saw a Jay-Z clip and, and he said some real shit. He was like, you know, people always get mad at me. And, and when you ask them why they're mad, it's always about what I didn't do for them. You know what I mean? It's never what I, I, never what Jay-Z did to I them. do not to you. It's just what he didn't do for you. You know what I mean? So, again. And why is Hope getting slandered when he picked a black rapper? Like, let's celebrate Kendrick. Like, he picked a... It's not like he picked a fucking... Some whitewashed, like, um, yeah. Post Malone or something. Yeah. Like... He picked Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, you know I mean, a nigga yeah. who's tapped in. I with mean, the Kendrick black in New Orleans is a little off, though. I mean, it's okay. Kendrick good anyway, He's though. Good anyway. Man. Kendrick like, good anyway. I just seen Kendrick before at Piedmont Park. Shit was lit last I think, summer. I think it's a little delusional for YMC and B to like be up in arms over when you know y'all been doing little shit to butt heads with Jay Z and Rock Nation and them for a while now. Like y'all, y'all know y'all ain't on their good side. Y'all know that. Listen, Wayne said that Hove paid his tax bill. So that alone, sh- Hove should be good with Wayne forever anyway. Like, if a nigga helps yeah. you out of a jam, especially f- financially, yeah. so what? You didn't get to pick for a show. Like, you'll be all right. You'll, like, you'll survive. He already showed, you know what I mean? He fucked with you. He did right by you. So don't drag it, B. I was, I was flabbergasted Wayne did, like, his own personal internet video, like, I'm sad. I, I, like, I couldn't like, believe that. On, like, Wayne. really, Wayne? Nikki went crazy. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki's on drugs. She had to chill. Is that the drugs? It's the drugs. She's okay. bucking out. Like, it's levels, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, y- y'all niggas' Twitter rants is incoherent. Like, I don't even under, like, it's like, part, Meek I got to piece it together. Rant. Meek went on a Twitter rant, and I don't really know what he was saying. Meek is on drugs. Is it the drugs? It has to be. Too? I don't think Meek, like, his, like, he, like, his shits be like, his tweets be like rambles of thoughts, where it's like, I don't think he, like, Meek isn't the smartest nigga, but he's not a, Dumb nigga. Yeah, he's not dumb either. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be I'm like thinking, random rant. It'd be yeah, ran, so it'd be his ranty. rambles, his Twitter rambles, seem drug induced. You feel me? Like, but Nikki shit seem more of like coke a induced? <laughs> full blown coke rage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Heavy like coke on the rage. rage. Coke rage. Heavy on the rage. You know what I'm saying? But Meek shit isn't coke rage, but it's like he's on something. Cause it's like. It's hard to like. You can't just read them straight through and understand what the fuck he's saying. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. It's like I don't know. Lucid thoughts. Weird drug shit. I don't know. I don't know what me got going on. Um. Yeah. I mean, listen. Let's not dem Kendrick's light. Shout out to Kendrick. He's. You know What's what he gonna saying? perform? They're not like us for t- fifteen minutes straight. Nah, he got with joints. He gonna do all right. He gonna do um, swimming pools, <laughs> that joint. Wake up, drink, pour up, drink. Yeah, I think he'll do a lot of guest performances. He's gonna do a lot yeah, of. Yeah. He's gonna, like, he's gonna, he's gonna be a lot of. Go like Kendrick got joints. Yeah, y'all niggas is yeah. disrespectful. Jesus, yeah. please. He got joints. He, I, I mean, and who's to say he's not gonna bring Wayne out? Let him do a milli, man. Here, come do a milli, my nigga. We're in New Orleans. I mean, all this backlash and all this hype. I don't think. I like. I mean, at this point, it's like, can he even bring him out? I mean, Wayne hasn't said anything disrespectful to Kendrick yet, and vice versa, so I don't see why not. I feel like the YMC and B faction is just upset because if Wayne would have got the nod, then Nicki would have got to perform, then Drake would have got to perform, and Birdman would have got to... I mean, I think I feel like everybody's looking out for themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the fake uproar, but they know that they would have been able to piggyback off the Sitchi. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, nah, I feel you. But again, um, I'm just happy for, for Kendrick. You know what I mean? I don't understand the whole slander. He picked a black guy to perform. Like, let's not drag it. Yeah. And let's just keep it right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't, I don't, and I don't understand why it's an uproar when people say like, "Oh, you so and so, oh, why hold grudges? Why you with the woo and what and whatever with the woo?" And I ain't gonna lie, like, bro, like, if you play funny with me before, like, cause I'm older now, I'm, I'm supposed to like be like. And now, like, even I'm, now, I'm, after you done just dragged me through the mall, I'm definitely going to play funny with you. Like, I don't see a reason why if you played funny with me in the past and now I'm in a position of power, I'm supposed to be the let bygones be bygones, nigga? No, actually, it's SMD, and I'm going to put my people in a position, or whoever I feel like should be in a position over you, SMD. Because mm-hmm. it's been SMD. So now that I'm the nigga that could push a button, it's, oh, why are you, bring, why are you holding grudges? Fuck out of here. Yeah. That nigga's SMD. It's SMD. What? SMD through and through. Lil Wayne, you remember? Kidnap your baby. Let's have, kidnap your lady. It's how much you love your lady money. That was you, right? That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't you kidnap your lady? Yeah. All right. He did say that. You said that the whole right? Kidnap your lady. See how much you love your lady money. You said that. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, if it's me, if that's my wife, you, it, oh, oh, what? You're never touching my stage. That's some D. Not getting on the stage. Have fun, champ. I ain't forget. I forgot I about that. I never forget. I don't forget nothing. I forgot about that. What? Kidnap your mother. Kidnap your lady. <laughs> but what did Hope say? Hope said something back though too. He said, he said something said, back. Said, like, this the fact you, you niggas s- got baby money. Yeah, that was when they was doing that. He said, "You niggas talking about my lady money? Niggas don't even got baby money. Some crazy shit." I remember that. You feel me? But just because I barred you back up doesn't mean that I'm like back even with you. It's more SMD for you. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here. Well, yeah, y'all niggas could sure. blow dick. And I'm going, I'm going to have a nigga come all the way out from Cali on y'all niggas' turf to shit on your mans. Fuck out of here. All yeah. y'all niggas eat dick. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck how about out that? Here. Hold on top. Hold on I'm top. I'm fucking with that energy, man. You can say what you want. But never forget who played funny with you. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I want to remind the people, too, while we're talking NFL, every Monday's tap in. Every Monday, a new, NFL sh- tap new in. show, new segment, whatever you want to call it, NFL tap in on live every Monday, 12 noon. We we, we started on IG. We go on multiple platforms, though. Don't play with us. You know how we do. We're going to expand our shit. We go on TikTok. We go on YouTube. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going to be where we need to be. Yeah. NFL tap in every this monday this is a at fully noon. interactive show we are gonna allow y'all to come on the platform and get your shit off so make sure you know what you're talking about please and please make sure you know what you're talking about don't drag it too we're gonna start limiting you niggas to like five minutes the most you know i mean come on get your shit off step off yeah you know i mean don't make it a whole thing but yes interactive nfl tap in every monday 12 p.m make sure y'all niggas is on the check-in for that factory sure underdog prize picks Holla at us. Draft case, tap in with a fan duel, whoever. Come through, bring your breach. We got you. I'm going to start doing free Bryce, lock of the week. Yeah, give free us something free. free. You got to give us something. Yeah, you got a lock, give, let us we'll know. Give y'all niggas free lock of the week for the gambling niggas. I'm, don't go with me. You know me? I'm going to be real. I ain't a lock, nigga. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a belligerent psychopath Paul A, nigga. I'm 15 legs. <laughs> I'm trying to hit five cash for three bands. Rich gonna give you the Rich gonna give you the lotto ticket, and I'm gonna give you the lock of the week. He gonna I'm give going you the lotto psychopath ticket. parlays. All my parlays is nuts. I'm he trying to hit for bands. Lot. He trying. To, he gonna give you the lotto. Listen, we gonna do the lotto ticket, and I'm gonna give you freeze lock. Rich's lotto ticket. He gonna give you a nut ass parlay. I'm gonna give you a lot. I'm going a nut parlay, fifteen legger for three bands or five dollars, nigga. Nah, for sure, for sure. Fuck it, man. Something gotta hit. God, God loves me, man. Uh, Bryce Young got Brench. Bryce Young is a dub. That's not even Panthers is a dub. Panthers ain't been shit since Cam Newton. Do you think he starts again over there, or like they gonna have to trade him? What they what they going? What's he gonna do? I want him to get out of there. Look at Sam Darnold flourishing in Minnesota. Look at Baker Mayfield flourishing in Tampa Bay. Yeah. Panthers is a shit organization. I'm it not is. gonna sit yeah. up here and say Bryce Young is like a fucking second call in the Peyton, but they just haven't done anything to help him succeed. He gets well. You know what? I will say this. I was going to say his line was dirt, but they I put up some stats, next generation stats, and they said that last week was probably one of his best weeks for as far as O-line protection, but he's small. He can't see over his line. He can't see over the line. He's small. Um, they got rid of all their weapons. Like, it's just Cousins a, averaging five yards an attempt. You know what? That shows me that you can't see the receivers downfield. Yeah. You can't see what's really going on. You're averaging five yards an attempt. You're barely getting the ball past the line of scrimmage, so they bringing bro. in Andy Dalton. I didn't even know he was still playing. Well, you say, yeah, the I'm Red Rifle here. is the red here. here. You shitting me? Shout out to the Red Rifle. You know what's so crazy? And you know, when you when you have like r- young QBs like that, and you got niggas like Andy Dalton, like, you're setting them up for failure. Because the Red Rifle is going to be serviceable enough to where it's like, you feel me? He's going to show surprise, why. Surprise, surprise. Young niggas is struggling, B. Caleb Williams is struggling. You know what I mean? Hold on. He's he not, he not as struggling like Bryce Young's he's struggling. not that bird, but he hasn't, he hasn't thrown a touchdown pass. Not one. We're, just, we're going on week three. He's playing against two different, two decent defenses. He hasn't thrown a touchdown pass. I'm not a kid. The record of the state, I've never been a Caleb Williams nigga. All right. I, we got episodes of this shit. I've been saying. You know who I think is going to end up out of all of them niggas that's going to benefit the most? I think Penix is going to have the best career from hey, Simba. Yo, what? Penix, Michael Penix. Whoa, that's right. his name. Oh, all right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this nigga's dangerous. <laughs> 
I was like, what the fuck? Nah, Michael <laughs> Phoenix, bro. I mean, he has a dangerous name, but we want me to do it. Pause. But I didn't say nothing. I'm just his name has an X. So if y'all thought I was saying something Yo, else, I wasn't. Oh, that sounded Phoenix insane. Phoenix is gonna have the best career just from sitting behind a nigga like Kirk, learning. Learn from Kirk, learning though. From Learn Kirk. from Kirk. Yeah, I mean, he's a, a pro. He's a real pro. Let's get back to benching the rookies for a year, unless you're one of them guys. Like CJ Stroud didn't need that. Stroud is like different. Cam Newton, like six five. You couple of niggas is like, absolutely like, different. Dude. They don't you need it. Gotta come in and built like something to like look like something. Like, yeah. The rest of you niggas, like, let's get back to sitting for a year or two. Yeah. I mean, the fuck, bro. Yeah. Malik two. Willis ain't look too bad. Backing up um, Jordan Love when he came in and played yeah, the game. Yeah, Wilson, yeah, they looked all right. I mean, it's niggas in Pat Green Bay. You know what I mean? They got a structure. They got a foundation. Like, they, yeah. it's not just Jordan Love or Buzz. Like, there's, he, they, he got niggas he can throw yeah. to. They got a respectable secondary. They got a good O line. Yeah, they got you a good team. Mean? They got a good team. The fuck? I'm, 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 I'm here for um, the Bo Nix failure. I'm here for Bo Nix failing. Me too. I want Bo Nix to fail. I want Bo Nix to fail. I want Sean Payton to fail. I want Bo Nix to fail. I'm here for the Bonex failure. Um, so like you said, shout out to the Texans. Your man Tua, he just had a seizure on field again. He got hit really hard, and he went head first in Demar Hamlin's chest. Of all people, how ironic Yo. is that? Demar Hamlin almost died a year ago. And now he's back, almost killing niggas. Almost That's killing ridiculous. Niggas. Talk about full circle moment. Like what? How Tua that said, "I'm getting all my money. I'm gonna be back in a few weeks." Tua refuses to stop playing football. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. All I respect you can it. do is respect it. Because you, you know you're like, you're, you're brain, you know your brain is scrambled eggs and you're still going out I'm there. I'm outside. I, I, I don't you care. Do? You got to respect it, bro. Yeah. Tua's a psychopath. And it was crazy because, like, I was laughing because all the pre is like, yo, he's in two and receivers, he's two and off season high, all this shit. And then, like, immediately the game started, he was ass. Then he got knocked, he got his head took off, right? Like, yo, the Bills just got the nigga's number. I don't know what it is with the Bills and the, and the Dolphins, but that nigga, um, what's his name, Mike McDaniels, he's, mm-hmm. he, 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 he let Sean McDermott just take his heart. AFC North looks crazy. Justin Fields 2-0. Ravens and the Bengals haven't won a game yet. Who's not going to make the playoffs out of them two? Because both of them not going to make it. As far as. This is, yo, this Ravens, I want to say before we even get into your prediction, I will say this Ravens Cowboys game coming up this Sunday. Matters. This this is a big game. Oh, like, I'm about to really sit lot. and watch this it shit. Like hold on. A lot. It's are we can we say seasons on the line? It matters a lot. It matter it, the season is definitely on the line. You like, know what I'm saying? like I mean I mean maybe you could make always make a late comeback, but like early season and with I, the wolves, like the season. Oh and three is nasty. Like if Cincinnati loses to Washington and goes over to the Didn't Dallas Dallas win a week one? Dallas won a week one. No, Dallas it's one and three. One. Yeah, but they just got smacked. They don't yeah. want to go one and two. I can say Dallas can climb out of Baltimore one. Baltimore needs it more than Dallas. No, Dallas that's what I said. Baltimore can't afford to go on three. Baltimore yeah. and Cincinnati, them two niggas on three. Listen. Like the last nobody's real. making the playoffs going on three. Baltimore so. D- is about to unleash some hell on y'all niggas. I'm gonna be real. Baltimore next week is about to unleash Are like, they? All, anything they got left in them, they got to let it go. Pause. Yo, let's you know call I mean? the spade a spade. Like, Lamar's receivers aren't really like that. His receivers aren't like, I don't think he wants to be there. Let's Does he want to play football it. anymore? The old lineman is, like, shaky this year. Um, I think they tied to listen to John Harbaugh, personally. I don't think John Harbaugh is a voice anymore. I think John Harbaugh has, has had his run. Maybe. And then Dallas, is. you know that's my team, but it's like, once we get punched in the mouth, it's just like, all right, we're good. You know what I mean? Like, them niggas, it's, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, like you said, this is a very important game for both franchises for this season. Dallas has too many pretty boys. Too many pretty niggas. Too many niggas. Too many media darlings. You know what the I'm NFC saying? East is so dirt, though, that Dallas could lose, and I wouldn't be like, I'm not ready to hit the panic button. Yeah. If, I mean, the, if the Ravens lose, I'm like, oh, they're not going to the playoffs. Playoffs yeah, out. Playoffs they, over. Yeah, NFC East, they can still figure it out. They can figure it out. Giants like, are trash. Redskins are trash. Giants are trash. Redskins are trash. Eagles is playing around. They're so. playing, playing yellow games. Speaking of the Eagles and Seriani, that what was that like on Monday night? That was like, you want to talk about piss poor coaching. That was like, I, I, I couldn't see it. Pittsburgh it coaching, coach or, or, all right, all right. Pittsburgh coaching, drop passes, undisciplined. Saquon doesn't catch his game still in catch. Like Saquon, like before all that other shit that I we had. I don't like the play call. Just run it, run it back to back. Take the time off. Make them niggas go nine. Make them niggas go ninety yards with, with minimal time left. You know what I mean, I don't like the play call. I don't like so none you're of saying, it. Saying fuck the field goal, fuck anything, fuck Saquon. Like just run it two times. Yeah. Tush push me. Yeah. He's been. Yeah. At, he was having a. I mean, he was. At, they was having a good time on the ground, bro. Like run that shit, bro. Like yeah. the fuck. 
they 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 tried to they overthought it, but the the shit was wide open. It was dead. It was a great pass. It was everything was. I mean, Sitchi, Saquon's yeah. You gotta run the ball. Fuck it, because the pass sometimes the pass is too too shaky. The pass is too shaky sometimes. You know who's on the hot seat too? Uh, I gotta go back out to the uh, NFC West. Brock Purdy, no Debo, no CMC. How's on the hot seat? No, because now you want to see if you're really nice. Who I'm about to say? There's nobody to the back. Of, there's like literally no other quarterbacks on that roster though. No, when I say I, I you know why I say he's on the hot seat because it's a contract. So this is next oh. year he's gonna get paid. Bag is gonna come to him. No, no, he's white. He's good. He's bag. He's, he's white. He's white. Is he's he gonna get a, a serious bag? Yeah, is good it enough. A reset market bag, good or enough. is it just a no? No, he's not gonna reset the okay. market. But his bag will be sturdy. The, a little bit more than the three year Tyrod. <laughs> three year forty. Tyrod way more than Tyrod. Yeah. Way more than Tyrod. But we're not. But not more than fifty a year. Maybe he's getting more than Daniel Jones. No, about forty five. He's going to get a great contract. Yeah, he's going to get a great contract. He's white. His contract's going to be awesome. <laughs> they can't wait to set him out, right? Yeah. You know how that goes. Yeah, I mean. Let's, go, let's talk Let's talk. But it can get nasty shit. for San Francisco. They got, they schedule is shaky. CMC, who knows when he'll be back. They said he's on the four, four five game, I know. How did he even get hurt? What the fuck know. happened? I was just about to say, he didn't even, he got hurt before the season started, Rich. It's like, Mystical, I don't trust Mystical, magical. I don't, listen, I, CMC is very nice, but I never liked his Why is he so thing. random? He's always hurt, bro. You know what? The the prognosticator tried to gas me like, yo, he ain't hurt. He, he played mad games last year. He ain't been hurting you. Yeah, right. I know, exactly. I know who I'm dealing with. That's exactly why you should have known. He's not going to give you back to back healthy seasons at this. I know who I'm dealing with. Like, CMC is tissue paper. Fuck like out of here. That nigga is tissue paper. And now, De- now Debo's hurt. You know what I mean? Debo so, been tissue too. Debo play about 10 games a year. Yeah, yeah, you 10. He's like, what the fuck, B? I'm taking a lot of hits. His name is just Debo. But he's going to play 10. He's going to play 10, bro. Stand up. Yeah, I mean, San Francisco. <laughs> Cooper Cup hurt. Who's surprised? <laughs> Niggas always hurt. Cooper hurt his an ankle. Listen, man. The, the white after the couple years, after players, a couple years of HGH and steroids, the the, the next couple years get shaky. Like, get niggas shaky. bodies break down, bro. Yo, white skill players, y'all yeah, niggas not supposed to be that fast anyway, man. Yeah, you're not supposed to be that twitchy. Go. You know I mean? <laughs> like, y'all yeah, shit is definitely When the body down. start breaking down, the ankle start giving up. Like, hold on, homie. I ain't used yeah, to this. Yeah, Cooper got his ring. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. He'll be cool. Um... Yeah, man, NFC East, dirt, Baker balling. Baker's balling. I, Derek yo, Carr's the balling. N- the NFC South, South I'm, is conf- I'm so, I can't believe that. The, I thought the Falcons were going to run away with it. Me but too. But it's not looking like that at all. Derek Carr said, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Alvin Kamara said, I'm, I'm back, back. But I, I got to see him get through week 10 for me to believe it. Derek Carr's going to fall off, though. He yeah. always falls off. You feel like, yeah. Their offense looks crazy, though. It looks though. crazy. It they looks crazy. To the they got niggas over there. They getting money over there. They getting money over there. They getting money over there. You know what I mean? For real. I can't even hold you, B. Patrick's still undefeated. <laughs> Yo. Talk to me. When Patty M wins, yeah, I love Patty, though. Don't get me fucked up. Like, I love Patty M, but it's not fair. When you're playing the Chiefs, you're playing the refs, too. Like, it's not fair, bro. That call, that, that pass in the French call at the end of the game against the Bengals, bro, Stop it, bro. That was an uncatchable ball to begin with. That was an uncatchable pass. And then they got there saying, I just seen that call get not called Yo, so many times. He hit that nigga in the head, bro. It was a pass in the head. I done seen that call get not, get not called so many times, though. It was an egregious pass. Technically, it was. Bro. Technically, it was. It was. No, it wasn't egregious. And I don't even it like it. It was not Chiefs. egregious. It was not egregious. He was there early, bro. He was there early. Don't touch him. I seen a lot of. Yo, don't we touch see him. that all the time, though. Don't touch him. We see it all the time. That call does not get called. Only Patty M always get that call. Well, that's I see what happens it when you get three rings. Man. In funny drives, late drives, couple seconds left drives, Patty always gets the call. When you play the Chiefs, you play against the refs too, and I don't like that, bro. I don't like that. I just don't like that. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. I'm seeing it. It's a pattern. It's nothing but flags coming out at the end of their drives. They bro, they they late they last second drives nothing but flags. That was a pass interference. Don't it touch was, him. but I seen it not get, I seen that same play not get called a hundred thousand times. Uh, just Pat, he got some cachet. Get over it, Taylor Swift, Fowler. Taylor Swift, Fowler. <laughs> <Man>. Fuck. 
This is madness. Let's wrap this fucking episode up, man. Yeah, let me get into Let me introduce it. Yo, listen, here at We're All Set, every episode we close the episode by letting you know what we're all set on, what we're not feeling. And I'm going to just start off by saying, I'm all set on Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, enough nah, is enough. Nah, fuck Cheryl Swoops, bro. Enough is enough. CC. Dude. Like, she was just on the Gilbert Arena show talking about, yo, her numbers aren't dominant. But then I pulled up Cheryl The numbers MVP, are better than yours. They're better than her MVP numbers. In her rookie year. Like, come on. Like, she breaking all-time enough. records. She breaking records. And Cheryl Swoops, we love you. We respect you. But, like, Listen, don't play yourself. I can name five WNBA rookies for the first time in history. Like, I couldn't even tell you who was the number one pick the last year or the Look, year before that. Year I love Cheryl Swoops ever. Her, Cynthia Cooper, Tina it Thompson, it lit. Houston Comets. They was Lisa real, Lisa real, Lisa Lisa. Yeah, I mean, like, we, like, I respect y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all contribution to the game. Woo, the woo, the woo. But don't down Kayla what's Clark going got on. Lit, like, she got to live for y'all. She got your niggas flying private. Like, like, come on. Let's like, put like, some respect on it. We're talking women's like, basketball because of Caitlin Clark. Don't down the new just because you was there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, just like don't you don't have to down the new. Embrace the new. Embrace the new. Let's embrace Caitlin Clark. Them. She's blacking. She bring her eyes to the game. Most of all, she'll stop talking. You, you may not like her fan base, but Caitlin Clark is, is valid, valid on the court. Bro, she's valid, Stand bro. up. Like, come on. Let's Stand knock up. Shit. Not knock it off. Um, I'm I'm taking it back to the Philly and um Atlanta game. I'm gonna set on Vic Fangio, the n- defensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I don't yeah, like his Slay play. Slay got cooked on that last play. Like at the end of the day, right? Yeah, Slay got cooked. Slay, Slay, you was ass. My big play, Slay, you bitch ass nigga. But Vic Fangio, like I don't respect it. Like you, your your last drive of the game, right? Niggas gotta drive the ball 80, 80, 90 yards. You go soft coverage against a 38-year-old quarterback with one leg. He's fresh off an of ACL injury. You don't blitz the man one time. You don't blitz him at all until the final play right at the goal line. Yo, I can't fuck with that. You're supposed to be an OG D coordinator. Jim Johnson would have never in history let a fucking 40-year-old quarterback throw it with space and not blitz him. Ever. You got to be true to what this Eagle shit is. Vic fucking Fangio, I'm all set on you. You got to blitz the one-leg quarterback. He has He's fucking 38 years old, fresh off an of ACL injury. There's no reason why you let him just sit back and throw the fucking ball. That's disgusting play calling. I can't respect it. It's not the Eagles way. Fucking Jim Johnson would have never in history let a nigga throw the ball three, four times with a, a minute left and not blitz them. That's ridiculous, bro. I can't respect that shit at all. I'm sorry. Signing off. Rich, free. All set. All pod set. Pod store. Pod store. Grab you some fucking NFL, merch. Tap in Mondays twelve. I let your boy. Ah ah. Fucking ah.